Hey there friends and enemies, Joe Per here again and today I wanted to talk about the upcoming Honkai Star Rail banners starting with version 1.1 which drops in about a week and how I determine which characters I personally want to pull for. First and foremost, pull for whoever you want, determine how you want to pull for them however you want, all that kind of good stuff. Don't let anybody tell you that you must pull for the only the meta characters because obviously that's not the case. We learned our lesson in Genshin Impact learn it in honkai Sarah. you don't need absolute meta characters meta units in order to beat all the content in the game you're going to be able to do that over the course of time especially if you build teams that work well together so for me though i always look at a couple factors in determining which characters that i am going to personally pull for one i look at whether I like their character design, whether I like their voice acting, all that stuff matters to me because I don't want to listen to a character all the time that I find annoying or I don't like the appearance of. Number two, the animations. There are certain characters that have really sick animations in this game and that really tips the scales for me when I'm looking at a character like Jin Yuan and he looks phenomenal with his almost uh like secondary being that he summons as an additional attacker in the game it's just a very cool animation and i very much enjoy that same thing with clara and her summoning savarog all of those things play a part in it although they're not the most important factors for me the thing that i always look at when i'm pulling for characters in these type of games is how i can build a team around them that i am going to enjoy playing so not only is it going to be a powerful team but it's a team that i like the play style of there are certain teams in genshin impact for example that i just didn't enjoy playing even though they were very meta so that i wouldn't pull for those characters that had those certain play styles the same thing goes to honkai star rail where even though it is turn-based if i don't like the way a team is playing i am not going to pull for them as far as where my free-to-play account stands right now, this also will determine how I'm going to figure out who I want to pull for going forward. So currently I have Seely, Eidolon, Winwelt, Clara, and then Bailu as the characters that I've pulled. Obviously I also have five star uh, Fire Trailblazer, but then I have a bunch of four stars as well with multiple Eidolons that make a big deal for my account. So uh, since I have Bailu and since I also have Eidolon 6 Natasha, I really don't feel like my account would benefit that much from Lacha. Now he is a very good character I think and long term he might be fantastic, but currently I have my two healers that I can use in all of the various activities and I don't really need him. He's not gonna make a massive difference for where my personal account stands. And so that's why I'm not pulling for him Again, I think he's a very good unit. If you don't have uh, Bailu or Japard, I think he would be absolutely beneficial for a lot of people to pull for because only having Natasha as your healer when you need two separate teams can be a bit of a struggle at times. So as long as you have Bailu or Japard, I think you can get by without him. But that's why I personally am not pulling for him. Going back to the first banner and Silver Wolf, that is one that I am kind of torn on. I like her character design. I like the animations of what we've seen so far from her. However, because I have a lot of support characters so far, and I've built up some support four stars like Ting Yun and some others as well that complement my team very well, I don't know if she would benefit my account as much as someone like either Jin Yuan, who I'm currently pulling for and dumping my warps into if I get them to try to get them before his banner goes away or saving for Kafka. Now they haven't confirmed what banner Kafka is gonna be on, but they have really leaned into the fact that she is coming soon based on everything that we've seen. They've kind of shown us a lot of teaser information for her and you would imagine she is definitely coming with version 1.2. That's what I know there's leaks out there. I don't really pay attention to leaks at all, but what I do pay attention to is how Hoyoverse kind of introduces these characters, not only in the gameplay within Honkai Star Rail, but also on the outside when they show off character teasers and all that stuff. And the fact that we've got all that for her tells me that she is probably coming with 1.2. So I would rather have either Jin Yuan or her. Now, I could also pull for Blade, who is another character who a lot of people believe is coming with version 1.2. 
I just don't really enjoy his play style, and I don't know if I have a team that I want to build around him. I would rather have an AoE damage dealer who is strong, and I think will really complement a team going forward as my overall account gets stronger and I rely less on healer defense characters. Because right now I have teams, one that's built around Clara and then March the 7th, and then a second team that's with Seely and then also with uh, Ting Yun. And so that's really where my teams are focused now. But I think the Clara team could kind of move and add an additional like heavy damage dealer like a Jin Yuan or Kafka seems to be. So that's why I'm leaning in that direction more so than Silver Wolf. Although I might be tempted. I can't promise anything. <laughs> There's a lot of people who uh, are, are very patient with their wishes, uh, the warps, whatever they are. Uh, but that's normally not me. So we'll see if I actually hold on to those long enough to save for Kafka. But as of right now, that's my plan. I haven't hit my pity either so there's a chance that i'll pull a five star and it will be a, a general character from the standard banner but we'll we'll see on that i think by the time 1.2 rolls around i will have accumulated enough warps to really pull for whoever i want and i'm hopeful that is the case even as a free-to-play player because so far we've been really blessed with how much uh free-to-play uh, loot that we've gotten as far as being able to uh, wish on various characters and pull whoever you want so i know i really enjoyed that i hope that continues to be the case going forward as long as you're playing like all of the events and all the new stuff that comes out the new location and uh, i know we're getting a free 10 pulls as well uh next patch which is going to be nice so all that being said uh, pull for whoever you want to really look at your account and build the teams that you are most excited about building and don't worry about the quote unquote meta because one it will shift it will shift pretty dramatically as we go forward characters will get power crept and if you worry too much about it you're never going to pull on a character and just like in Genshin Impact you'll miss out on somebody insane like Kazuha that a lot of people didn't wish for and then he ended up being one of the best units in the entire game so keep that in mind and pull for you want my name is jopa i hope you enjoyed the video if you did hit the like button subscribe to the channel helps me out tremendously it shows you want to see more honkai content from me going forward i'm definitely going to cover patch 1.1 uh, as it drops and i'm really excited for it to finally be here so anyway my name is jopa i hope you have a good one i'll catch you all later